Hey everybody, it's Pat. I am in the, in the MyPod. As you can see the air conditioning unit, there's some problems with it. So I'm going to try to take it out today and get everything prepped for the new unit that is coming or that I will be getting in the next week or two. But as you can see, the dealership, when I bought this MyPod, the AC unit was not in it. So then when I went back to pick it up after they supposedly prepped it, the AC unit was in it. And this is how they had it installed. You see where the cord's coming from right there? It's not supposed to come out that way. It's actually supposed to go behind the bulkhead. And you see that little hole right up, right about there? It's supposed to pop out there. So you got to take that faceplate off, pop it out there in order to plug it in. Well, I think part of the reason why the AC unit is screwed up is because of the way they did this. So, I am going to uninstall it, make sure that cord's not damaged. And if it's damaged and I can fix it, I may not have to get a new AC unit. But, we will see what happens. I don't have a good place to put the camera in a static spot while I do this. So, this is going to be a couple different little videos probably tagged together. So, I will take some more videos in a little bit. Bear with me. Okay, I'm a little bit further. You can see I've got the trim off of this now. Let's see if I can come back a little bit. That's as good as it's going to get. I want you to, I don't know if we can see this. It's so dark in here and the lighting's only is what it is. That's the power cord where it goes in to the unit. That is actually crushed. Oops crushed right there. I can feel it. It's all bent and tweaked out of shape. And I'm thinking the RV manufactured, when they put that in there, they just screwed it up big time. There is no excuse for that. Looks like they even tried to notch it out right there a little bit. It's just crazy. Well, that's it for now. I will show you a little more when I get a little further into it. Oh, oh, oh. Before I do that, come over here. And up in here, there's a couple screws there. And there's a couple screws there that come in from that, come in from the sides here and here. So I'm going to have to remove this panel and the radio, I believe, in order to get those screws out. But that's my next project. So until then, bye bye. Hey everybody, it's Pat. I'm just showing you the progress. I know it's dark in the my pod but I got the AC unit out finally the screws on each side were a little tougher than I thought so this is Tuesday and I want to show you something look at this the AC unit is working yay blowing pretty good doing what it's supposed to reconnected this this part here was where they had crushed it and messed it all up I just cut the wires back and reconnected them and yes I used temporary connectors to see if this would work and so far it works fine it's running nothing's getting hot or overheated I will say it was kind of a bugger to take this front panel off but it came off but okay that's the up, all the updates I'm going to do for right now because now I've got to start trying to put all this back together so until next time see you later